Hi guys and welcome to How's It Rate. My name is Chico and I'll be your host today. Today we're going to be reviewing a tool. Yeah, a tool. No food. A tool. Uh, I don't know if you remember in one of my videos I mentioned, well a couple of my videos, I mentioned that I was doing some remodeling around here and uh, got to the point where I needed a specific tool. I mean, sometimes you just have to have the right tool, otherwise you're not going to get the job done. And when I, what I needed was a multi-tool. Yep, and I decided to go with the Ryobi multi-tool uh, because it's cordless, number one, and also because I have other tools in the Ryobi uh, lineup, which I am very happy with. So, uh, what do we know about this tool? Well, it's a multi-tool, typical oscillating multi-tool, and it's cordless, and it's kind of heavy with the old batteries that I had. But the nice thing is that it still takes those batteries. So um, it's 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 kind of long, also a little bit of a drawback. But they do make smaller batteries now, a little bit more expensive. Uh, but you can get the smaller batteries for the unit. So I'm not going to show you the tool uh, actually cutting anything. I mean, once you've seen something get cut, you've seen it get cut. So it's not like uh, there's too much new. Um, but what can I tell you the good points and bad points about the tool? Well, let's, uh, let's look at the carton first. It says it's an 18 volt job plus base with multi-tool attachment. Um, this tool does not come with a battery or a charger. It's simply the tool. So when you get it, that's what it looks like right there. Um, as you know, uh, these tools are very, very handy. I needed it for a particular reason, a flush cut against a wall of some wood and you're not going to do that with any other tool. Maybe, maybe a reciprocating tool, uh, saw tool, but uh, they're a little bit bulky and their cuts are not quite as fine. Uh, nice thing about this tool is that it's compatible with the rigid tool attachments that are out there. Uh, you can get a jigsaw head with this, optional of course, you have to buy it sep separate. You can get a reciprocating saw head for this and you can get a right angle drill head for this so you can turn this into a right angle drill and you can also get an impact driver head like a little hammer thing which I don't think would be very useful now I have a, a reciprocating saw and I have a jigsaw so I pr probably wouldn't get that I do have a drill but I don't have a right angle drill so the attachment for this I think it's around forty dollars something like that if I ever wanted it um, what can I tell you about the tool very, very, very good tool. It's uh, very powerful. It's got a lot of, a lot of juice. The battery lasts a long time, even though it's a NICAD battery. As you can see, it's got a little LED light there that comes on when you pull the trigger. Uh, the tool comes with this blade that's on here, instruction manual, a wrench for changing the blade, and that leads me to one of the things that I'm not really crazy about with the tool but it doesn't really affect its performance so we can live with it. Um, you have to take the blade out with this wrench here. You unscrew this bolt and you change the blade. Uh, a lot of the uh, other reciprocating tools or multi-tools have a quick change which is really nice feature but I can live with the wrench. Um, it comes with a sanding head attachment. It does come with that in the pack and you can see it gives you a couple of different grades of sandpaper and they're made with a, a, like a, a Velcro back to fit on the head which goes um, to the tool. Okay, so that's one thing you do get with the tool. I haven't used the sanding attachment but I can tell you I think it's going to be handy for those little tight to reach spots. Uh, it did come with a round blade like this and it came with this blade that's mounted on it. All right, Now this blade can be moved from this position to a side position to a right side position, all different which ways. One thing I can tell you about a multi-tool is that it's only as good as the blade that you purchase for it. Now these two came with it. This is an all right blade. I can't talk today. It's an all right blade. Uh, it's good for cutting out like sheetrock where you want to put your uh, uh, receptacles, things like that. Um, they do cut metal. You can get blades that are specifically for metal, some that are combo, which is wood and metal, blah, blah, blah. 
So you want to make sure you get the blade you need for the job. And again, the better the blade, the better the tool will perform. This blade has cut wood, cut metal, and if you can look real close, probably can't see it, but there is a worn spot right here where I had to cut through some nails. And, you know, um, it's to be expected that you're going to find a nail now and then. Uh, this was not a high quality blade. It went through about, oh, probably half a dozen nails before it actually wore a little bit of the teeth off on the end of it. So, poo poo for that blade. Um, as I said, this head is interchangeable. You just push on these two little levers here and you pull the tool off. Oop. Well, we'll do that in a minute. Kind of on there, probably dirty. But it does come right off and then another tool snaps onto it. Um, what can I tell you? Um, I have to give the tool a five. Uh, yes, because it's a multi-tool, that, that also, you know, a, a multi-tool is very necessary. But also, this particular tool by, by Ryobi, um, aside from this little inconvenience here, performs exceptionally well. The battery, battery even though it's an old NICAD 18 volt battery, <coughs> works. Uh, for quite a long time, and when I say quite a long time, I mean about an hour of continuous use. And uh, while one battery is, you know, being used, the other one is being charged, so not a big deal. Um, it's not very expensive. It was sixty, I believe, sixty-nine dollars for the tool with these few attachments that they give you, and uh, no battery pack. But it's kind of a love-hate thing, you know. You love to buy a new tool, but you hate to dish out the money. But there's some jobs you just can't do without the right tool. And I have to give uh, this, this product um, a good review. It, it's a good machine. Um, uh, let's give it a four and a half because of this nut thing here, you know, where you got to undo it that way. If it wasn't for that, it would be a full five. The thing uh, has been used for a number of hours now. It was a big job that I had to do cutting a subfloor flush to the wall. So it got a lot of use. Uh, this blade was primarily used on wood with the occasional nail, blew right through it. Really nice little tool. Now, as I had mentioned, one of the nice things about this tool is that this uh, multi-tool cutting attachment comes right off. You push on this, these little latches here, it releases it, it can be mounted this way. So you can see that's, that's completely different on this side, that side, back side, you can make it uh, mount any way that feels comfortable for the particular job you have to do. Just as easily as this came off, the uh, jigsaw attachment attaches to it and the um, reciprocating saw attachment, they all go on the same way. So it's a no-brainer. You just slip this thing on. You can hear it click into the place and put your battery in and bingo, you're ready to go. So. That's all I have to say about the Ryobi Multi-Tool. Um, excellent little product. Performs very well. Lots of power. Uh, if I had the other batteries, I guess it would last two or three times as long as it does with this NICAD battery. But the beauty of the Ryobi line is that the, uh, all the tools work with the 18 volt battery and they make many, many products. And this is just one of the, the products in their great line. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I highly recommend this tool. Yes, I'd buy it again. Um, the size of it uh, is a little large, but it's got that big battery there. Again, you can get a small battery. Uh, still more convenient than anything you have to plug in, especially for a multi-tool. So, we'll see you again soon, and have a great day. Bye-bye.